Hi, I'm Kim O'Rourke. For very many years before I got into quilting, I thought quilts were basically fuddy duddy, fussy looking, floral, bed style quilts. And they definitely weren't for me. <laughs> yep, I know that's misguided. I didn't know about all the different designs and the colours and the fabrics that are available for us, let alone the different materials that I could play with. Cork? Who knew about cork? <laughs> Fortunately, one day, about a decade ago, I walked into my local quilt store and I immediately fell in love with this whole process of patchwork and quilting. Jane was my tutor and she loved browns, muted greens, muddy reds, floral prints and traditional designs. And that's what her shop was full of, all those fabrics and colours and designs that she loved. And those were the fabrics that I bought to use for my first um, sampler quilt when I was learning. Now, I loved learning these new techniques and I took to it like a duck to water, which is why I teach it now. But to be honest, I never ever loved this muted palette. It was only when I started exploring other quilt shops that I discovered that there were plenty of other styles and colours, designs and designers to choose from. What, what rather crept up on me over time was the realisation that Jane was a traditionalist when it came to her quilting fabrics, whilst I was very definitely a modernist. A modernist. I didn't know that was a thing when I started quilting. I love bright, clean, dual colours. I like simple designs. I like strong geometric designs. Whenever I'm looking at a new project now, I look to my favourite designers and my favourite colour palette first. But that's just me. What I want to ask you is, are you a traditionalist or are you a modernist? Or are you somewhere in the middle? You see, neither is right or wrong. It's about finding what's right for you. So what I would say is to for you to pay attention to how you're feeling about your, your projects and your makes. How much are you loving the fabric and the colours and the, and the designs? Because that can make a whole load of difference to how much you love your, your finished make. And it can make a difference to how much joy it brings you. If you're like me and you love the sewing part and you love learning all these new techniques, but you aren't completely in love with the project that you're making, perhaps just starting to, to learn, then maybe it's time to make a decision for yourself as to what kind of quilter you are. Now, <laughs> As you probably know, all of us quilters spend our lives cutting fabric up into small little bits only to sew them up together again. Now, my partner thinks I'm completely bonkers <laughs> and we do this to bring us pleasure. Actually, I think it's more than that. We, we sew to bring us joy and fulfilment. Sewing is a place where we can lose ourselves and I think it's a place we can find ourselves too. So you want to be making sure that you are truly in that place of joy when you sew. Your projects have to bring you as much joy in making them as finishing them. And that comes down to you loving the fabrics, the colours and the designs um, that you're making your, your projects with. I think that's really important and I would love to know your thoughts. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now and happy quilting.